Everybody. My name is Zantane Black, and um, it is my pleasure to be here today playing and talking to you about the Yamaha Electric Grand Piano, the CP70. Now, this thing, this beautiful lady, this is not even a thing, this lady, came out in a variety of different versions, and the version that I'm lucky enough to be playing today is the D model, which has the seven band EQ, so you can change your sound. So this is the raw sound. Let me give you the raw sound. So if I go, which for me in itself is a really beautiful warm sound already. But uh, I can slam in this EQ, which will get a bit more brightness. And then I can add in some tremolo as well. And it's just beautiful, so if you want that kind of more spacey thing. So what can I tell you about the um, CP70? Well, number one, I love the CP70. Um, it came out in the mid 70s, and um, it was a great solution for us guys who play keyboards, because we would always struggle if we wanted to play an acoustic piano sound and play against amplified instruments. So guitars were, you know, the, the volumes turned up to 11 and bass players and drummers going nuts. So um, Yamaha came up with this wonderful lady who um, inside has actual hammers and strings that are struck just like an acoustic piano would be struck, but also has a, a range of um, piezo pickups. So the same kind of pickups you'd find on a guitar and there's one on each of the strings. This particular model, which is the CP70, has 73 notes. There was a bigger sister of this, which was the CP80. And that, of course, had the full complement of notes. And um, if you haven't checked out this sound already and you don't have access to it, I can suggest two key players who I love um, who use this instrument. Um, George Duke is number one. I want to talk about George Duke. So please check out the Brazilian Love Affair album and particularly a song called Up From The Sea It Arose and Ate Rio In One Swift Bite. That's the name of the song. Up From The Sea It Arose and Ate Rio In One Swift Bite. CP70 all over that mother. So check that out. Check out another tune called alone, 6 a.m. It's just him alone at 6 a.m. just exploring the CP70 on its own. It's a beautiful instrument. On top of that, check out some Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock used um, the uh, CP70 quite a bit. There's a Lenny White album um, called Big City, and there's a tune there called Rapid Transit. And Herbie Hancock does the most wonderful solo on a CP70 there. So um, yeah, it's a wonderful instrument to play. Um, the good things that you get with this that I like personally is the fact that I've got my onboard EQ here. So uh, normally when you're gigging, you have a situation where you're trying to tell the sound engineer to actually pay attention to you. You're waving frantically, trying to say, please take a look at me and do this for me. In this case, I don't have to wave to anybody. 
I can just get playing. So if, for example, I do this. Now that's the bright sound. Let me go a bit brighter. Even brighter again, so you can really cut through. Or I can just take everything out and go warmer. So, the Yamaha CP70, it also had some balance outputs, so you can eliminate noise. And it's just like the wooden keys, the action. Yeah, there's a lot to love about the, um, the CP70 and to have electric and a, a grand piano able to be carried around with you and go touring is a wonderful thing. So um, I'm gonna play a little bit more and I hope you guys enjoy what I'm about to lay down on you. Here we go. She's back. 